What's up, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, I want to say welcome. If this is not your first time tuning in, I want to say welcome back, you guys. I want to say hello to my new subscribers, and I want to take the time to thank you guys for your likes, your shares, subscribing to my channel, commenting, whatever you've done. I really do appreciate that, that you guys. Okay, so this is going to be a twin flame reading. I've already shuffled, meditated over your cards. So let's get into Earth Signs. So the first card we have here is oh, after the storm. I can't tell, I would say over the storm. So you see we have an eagle here behind this moon. So I feel like there's a lot of new beginnings now. You've been through a rough patch, Earth Signs, on this Twin Flames journey. This has not been easy. This is not a journey, you know, for the weak. This is only the strong will survive here. What's that song? Um, I can see clearer now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. So it's like now after the storm is gone, now that all those obstacles, all those challenges that you've experienced on this twin flame journey with your twin, it's like you can see clearer now. After the storm, you know something big is coming, Earth signs. You know that God did not put you through all that, you know what I'm saying, for nothing at all. It was a reason behind it. It was a reason why you learned all those lessons. It was a reason why you went through that time in your life when you was going through the dark night of the soul. That means when your soul was transformed, when you were starting to see that there's a lot of things going on around about you or around you, and it's time to make some changes, you know, and you was like, okay, I got to get down to it. And it's like, you know, everything just started to hit you at one time. And it's like, you could have felt like you were even at the lowest point of your life, Earth Sound. It's like, it was a reason why you went through this storm. That's what, that's what I'm trying to let you know. Like, nothing happens for no reason. It was a reason why that happened, okay? Then we have the number 32, which talks about Merkaba here. So let me read a little bit of this to y'all so we can explain this. Okay, so the word Merkaba talks about charity, which talks about movement. Okay, this talks about transferring human light to the body. This talks about all around the human that is generated by quantum parts of our DNA. In this field, we are able to communicate with our conscience where our Akashic records are stored. And this is a place where our total history and everything that we've experienced here on this human field, or here on the 3D. And it's like you can take that and it's, the, it's like through experience of breathing, certain breathing patterns, you know, that you can change and move your perspective of reality into other dimensions. So it's like you can take the things, the experience that you've learned, and it's like transfer those things like on a 5D, on a spiritual, on a different realm, and on a 3D here on this physical plan, okay? Then we have star seed. A lot of you guys, you're star seed. And if you're not familiar with the term star seed, that means that you're a light worker. You're supposed to be doing something divine, something here greatly on earth. That's why you were chosen. If you do not understand that if you're on this twin flame journey, if you're sure that you have met your twin and you're on this twin flame journey, just know that you, you are chosen, okay? Your ancestors chose you. And I feel like that's deep. Like, I had to sit here and think about that. Me and one of my friends were talking one day. He's also on this twin flame journey. He's a divine feminine. That's why we say, you know, it's just energy. Just because you're a female don't mean you're the, you're the divine feminine. Because throughout this journey, you're going to transfer throughout divine masculine and your divine feminine energy. When you're, you're a divine feminine, you're very nurturing. You're very loving. You're very giving. That's how you met your twin in that energy. And that person took. Because they were in their divine masculine energy. They were... Cutting people off. They wasn't here open to love. They weren't ready to nurture. They wasn't able to give. They weren't able to, you know, be an equal give and take situation. So it's like throughout your journey, at some point in type time, those roles are going to flip. And if you're a divine masculine, you will operate in your divine feminine energy and vice versa. If you're divine feminine, at some point in time, you're going to start operating in your divine masculine energy. You're going to start cutting off people. You're not going to longer be available for the BS. You know, you're going to stand up. For yourself, you're going to know your worth, and you're not going to be here for it, okay? All right, you guys. I ain't mean to preach. I just had to get those messages out. So, let's see what kind of energy is around you guys on this twin flame journey. So, what type of energy is around my earth signs on this twin flame journey, Spirit, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn? What type of energy is around my earth signs at this time? Oh, Lord. I feel like I'm getting a download, you guys. What type of energy is around my earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn? I'm sorry, you guys. So I'm just hitting my ear real quick. Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay, so at this time, you guys, you need to be honest with someone or yourself, even if, even if it is difficult. 
So this means maybe on this journey, you know, you need to be honest with yourself. And some of you guys are realizing that I don't really think I want my twin anymore. It's like you've elevated to a point to where you know your worth. It's like you're seeing now, you're realizing that these challenges, you're realizing that these lessons, you're realizing that your twin triggered you. And it was the reason why all this happened. And it's like, you know, deep down inside, you always want to love your twin. But when you think about re reuniting with this person, reunion, you know, you're like, eh, I don't know if I really want to do that. And I feel like for some of you guys, maybe you need to be honest with yourself and, and tell yourself, you know, hey, I can really do this without my twin. Like, I understand why I met this person, but I don't need them. I've elevated to a point to where I'm good. Then we have keep your business to yourself. This talks about your dreams, your goals. Some of you guys who are making some type of business plan. Maybe you want to start a business or you've gotten a business start. And it's like you want to reach out and talk to people and get advice. But, you know, everybody's not here for your greater good, you guys, okay? Just to talk about any ideas, plans, thoughts, anything. Sometimes you have to learn to keep your business to yourself. You know, you want to let people know what you got going on, maybe get their advice, get their perspective, but you got to realize that everybody ain't here for you, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on in this connection. I'm going to pull up my runner chaser deck. The red cards are going to be the runner, and the yellow cards are going to be the chaser. So what messages do you have for my earth sign spirit? Okay, so we have, I have inner child wounds that need to be healed. So earth signs, your twin, they have some possibly abandonment issues, but they have some inner child wounds. This talks about issues they have that stem from their childhood that this person needs to heal. This person could have had an absent father, an absent mother. It was someone absent or, or something that happened in their life that they have not gotten over. This person has not healed from that. And until this person heals from that, you don't want this person to be in your energy because they still can't give you exactly what you want and need, okay? And that may be the truth with some of you guys need to realize that your person needs to heal, you know, their inner child wounds. Then we have, why does this love have to be so complicated? So for some of you, you could just now be starting your twin flame journey, but you're realizing, like, this is someone you truly love, but you just can't understand why this person can't love you back the same way. Why this person just can't give you the same thing that you're giving them, your time, your energy, your dedication, your sex, your love, all that. You know, this is like the most complicated relationship that you've ever been in. And this is from the chaser and the yellow card. Let me get one more card for my twins. Then we have here, is this a twin flame journey or something in my head? Yes, a lot of you guys are in your head because you just can't figure your twin out. And I remember being in that stage. It's like you think this person loves you, but they act like they don't love you. The stuff they say, it doesn't act like love. It doesn't feel like love. All right, you guys, we're going to do a part two. 